Zero's Grove Walker Guide. The Grove Walker is a rather different class from all the others in that it offers tank and DPS options to choose from. If used correctly, it can even keep up with Revenants in terms of DPS. Now to start, I'm going to go to Symbols. There are three categories, the PvE Farming or Solo Symbols, there's PvP, and then there's PvE Endgame, which is like distortions in Avatar. Now for the PvE Farming and Solo, you want Emblems of Speed, Emergency Maneuver Dodge, Protective Shell, Pain Shock, Support Mode, Sudden Death, and Chain of Destruction. Now, Emergency Maneuver gives you free immunity, pretty nice. Protective Shell just get, makes it take longer for you to die. Pretty much. Pain Shock helps with the boss DPS. Support mode. If you're solo, it's 20% damage and your uh, auto attack can actually activate it. Sudden death is every new enemy is going to proc chain of destruction, which is going to just destroy adds pretty quickly. And you pretty much want Narius Hammer because it just does a lot of damage more than the other ones. In a PvP build, you want Endless of Pain since they can't dodge it. I'm going to emergency bring over dodge still for a few immunity, protective shell, pain shell, defense mode, and sharp rebuff. The reason for sharp rebuff is because every 8 seconds it can activate, which will activate your black mark, which will boost your damage by 15%, which is pretty nice. And then you want Narion's hammer. Another thing about sharp rebuff is in BVP you're bound to get controlled a lot anyway. It's a lot shorter than sudden death's 30 second cooldown. Now for the end game content build, distortions of avatar, you want emblems of destruction, emergency with dodge, projector shell, pain shock, defense mode, sudden death, and collapse. This is for the extra single target DPS. Just gonna help a lot in distortions in avatar. Now for abilities. Your main one is gonna be Breath of the Forest, a channeled ability that restores vital farm energy per tick of damage. Up plants up to 45 seeds. Then there's blooming, which is an AoE attack that throws a ball that explodes on contact with an enemy or over time. Any seeds that are ran over by the ball or the explosion will grow instantly. Then there's nature grip. There's an AoE rolls of bundles of roots that deals damage and roots enemies in place. Human noise are lifted in the air and I can't use any abilities. By human noise is some enemies and as well players mainly. There's sowing your basic attack which has a chance to plant seeds or it can proc a four times strength nature's grip which hits amazingly hard. Chester's call is a plant buff that increases the attack speed of your plants significantly and activating it again will cause them to explode. Then there's one with nature which gives CC immunity and unable to be targeted. And there's your ult, Murf living armor, transform into vital form. Now, the fighter form has its own abilities, of course. The main one you're going to be using is Daily Thorns, which is a spin attack that taunts enemies that are hit. And then there's your Shield of Thorns, which I'll go to here shortly. It gives you a 40% damage reflection shield. Also boosts the damage of Living Missile, which is your X move. And Living Missile makes you pull yourself back and launch forward like a slingshot. And you're going to be rolling, but if you miss anything, it's going to make you roll for a while, put you in a bad position. Then there's your piercing strike, which is your wise, a quick stun attack, hitting everything in front of you. Useful for setting up for that living missile. And then there's your throw, which is your RT. It's a quick slam attack, but if the enemy is really far away, it'll actually make you leap to him. Uh, farthest I've leaped is like 74 meters. The touch of life is health recovery for 10 seconds. Usually heals you up to full health regardless of where you're at. Reverse living armor gives you a 50% health shield. Pretty amazing. It's probably one of the biggest shields the game has to offer. Then there's Estra's Laugh, which gives 50% energy towards fighter form. Doesn't say it, but it does. Okay, and now for the rotation. You want to start with Breath of the Forest. But the trick is, is you want to be a little bit on the side of the boss. So, like the side of the cylinder that it makes is touching it. That way the seeds that it drops will not be directly in front of it. And you can just throw your blooming right out there. And it shouldn't explode on the boss sometimes. But it should get most of the seeds because sometimes it places seeds behind the boss and the blooming doesn't work great. 
basically you want to use Tessa's call and reach around 80 to 90 energy and you just keep on spamming RT until you get your other armor and then you want to just use RP three times or you can do B with your other missile with your X two RBs to spin but you'll do slightly less damage and it won't last as long and mage farm you can always do the same thing except uh, whenever your nature skip procs, of course you want to use that. You want to definitely keep your uh, buff flowers out as long as you can, especially if they're in a good position. Now, for adds, you want to use Breath of Forest or your nature's grip. Nature's grip on these guys. much all there is to it. it's nothing overly complicated other than just building up that energy quick enough. 